In, in what ways do we see tonight how you guys benefited from having a veteran group that's seen a lot of basketball? Uh, you know, just being able to slow down, you know, kind of, uh, you know, take our time and just, you know, just uh, play our game, you know, not get rattled, you know, not get down, just keep chipping away at it and just knowing that we had to keep raising, you know, our level of defense and offense. What changed in the down 11 at halftime? <clears throat> what changed really in the second half in your mind that that really played the biggest factor in turning the game around? Just brought guys just brought more energy. You know, guys, you know, were up on the ball screens, you know, hitting the boards. I think, you know, you know, in every way, I thought guys just just picked it up. I thought, you know, first half, you know, we, you know, we were all kind of, you know, like one or two steps slow. But I thought in the second half, you know, we definitely picked it up. Starting the second half and playing as, as much as you did uh, in place of Blake there, uh, it, it, it didn't surprise you at all that Steve came to you? Uh, it definitely uh, caught me off guard. Um, you know, it was fine. You know, I I was playing well tonight, so it made sense. You know, um, trying to open up the floor for uh, James and uh, Kevin. You know, they, they were packing the paint, so you know, we were trying to take advantage of. Uh, J.A., you know, going to uh, try to block shots. So, you know, it definitely made sense. But uh, I was surprised for sure. Is that something teams you notice have done more over the last, whatever, last few games, last week or two, in terms of using their big <clears throat> pack off the pack against KD? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you have to, you know, he's such a uh, elite scorer that, you know, you're trying to make it tough for him. You know, you're trying to send, you know, two or three guys at him. And, you know, that's where, you know, I try to help by, you know, trying to knock down shots. And then hopefully that opens up the floor, you know, for him and James to, you know, try to get to the rim. Christian. Hey, LaMarcus, I know you got to Brooklyn before. Well, after Jared was traded, but I'm just wondering, A, what you thought of his game, and B, what did, what did you need to do to kind of slow him down? Like, he got it going early, and then you were able to kind of get him out of his element a bit. Uh, nah, he's a great young big, man, good hands, block shots, uh, athletic, you know. I've been a fan of his game, you know, ever since Texas, obviously. But, nah, man, he, he's been solid. You know, he gives them a, 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 a different dynamic at the big as far as, you know, being able to finish, you know, putting pressure on the rim, you know, you know, when you read the uh, ball screen. So he was definitely great tonight. Um, I was just trying to, you know, just try to keep him off the boards and, you know, just try to keep him in pick and rolls and, you know, just try to tire him out a little bit. And, and second, uh, just what did you make of the impact that Cam had on the game tonight? Uh, instant hot, uh, instant offense, you know, that's what I call him because he came in the game and, you know, he was instantly getting to the rim, knocking down threes. And, you know, when you when you score that easy as he does, you know, it's just, you know, it was it was easy for him. Um, I thought he was a big pickup for us, you know, for his energy, knocking down shots and just, you know, trying to, um, you know, uh, you know, do anything that he can out there.